small island in the Gulf of Thailand, covered in trees, surrounded by water, yet home to some of the most marvelous creatures in the world. There are lots of people sharing this fragile paradise, working to conserve it, preserve it, and enjoy it. My name is Carl Schrock. This is my life on a little island. So what we're doing is this is Ray the coconut with the dog and uh, this machine separates the separates this into takes out the milk and we put the waste in this and you can actually buy this, it's really good. This guy here is turning these into these. He takes some of these, which is coconut out of a husk, this machine here, over there, he just had, it's not running right now, but he puts them, puts it, puts this onto the wheel, and that wheel cracks this part, leaving, leaving only the stuff that's inside. It's not running right now, and it probably won't be for the whole video. And they put these things in, and this wheel here <laughs> spins really fast, and that is basically a grater. So that grates the coconut, and it comes out here as this. It's really good. break the lid because the gases rise. So in 30 hours this will be, instead of here, it will be like this. And the next step is to leave it and don't shake it. Twenty seven point five hours in. What used to be coconut milk has now separated into its three elements. This is cocoa butter. It's a bit like moisturizer and you can also use it on toast. It's pretty good. This is what we're after. Coconut oil. This is actually a lot of coconut oil so we might have to get another bottle. This 
is another layer of cocoa butter, except it's a bit heavier. And then this is coconut water. It's not the best, but uh. So we're only after the coconut oil. The rest of this stuff is just going to go into the garden, which it is really good for. This is a siphon. And these are mainly used in hospitals or something to put fluid into your blood. But, and they usually have a needle on the end. But we cut that off and we're using it for coconut oil instead. So what I've done, so I've already set this up. What I've done is I've taken the bottle, I've got, I've put the funnel in it, and then there's a coffee filter inside the funnel. So what I've done so far, the siphon is near the bottom. The, the end which would go into the bottle for the siphon would is now nearly at the bottom of the layer of coconut oil, which is this. And then it's gravity fed, so make sure it goes down. I've put this coming down and it's going into the coffee filter and it's going very slowly and it just has to soak through and so this process is going to take like five or four or five hours I've been siphoning for 15 hours now and I think we're We'll call that quits. We've got these two bottles and this one, which doesn't have much. It's taken us more than 48 hours to end up with two liters of coconut oil. Well, good luck if you want to have a go at it. You need a lot of patience, though. So those who like things done like that, Probably not the best idea.